Hey, hello folks and welcome once again to another edition of Friday Night Yakuza here on the twitch.tv slash tildyhouse channel. Almost got the wrong one. Robot Ian. Oh boy, well that's no good. Um uh, we're here within of course the uh the compound, which is uh the not the compound, we're in the Crystal Gondola, the place remains Tilpia Studios here in beautiful downtown for Columbia, Canada. Uh, and it is a Friday night, and I need to go to the control panel. Can I, can, can I do this to myself? Uh, no, I can't do this to myself. I will have to walk myself through it. I cannot do one thing and then say another one. Uh, means the normal, it's, it's the bees. Bees. Uh, it, there, there should be, I, I, I think there's a reason for this. Spatial sound? Why would there ever be spatial sound in the vault? Advanced. What? Okay, interesting. Interesting. Oh, for why that? And then close that window. Put it away, and then we bring it back up. But there's still going to be some bees. I wonder if there's a square one. Okay. Hold on a second. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to reboot reboot my body my body equipment and uh and hopefully that'll that'll uh solve an issue we'll try uh doing the whole thing uh don't go away i'm just going to uh take us to the drone zone for a moment Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Hey, we're back. How does that seem? Uh, is everything back to ba back in, in a pleasant uh, ear hole experience, or are we no no robo? Okay, all good. Uh, Friday night, yeah, because uh, tilty house boxes things uh, going good. Uh, hip as funk beer uh, from the Moon Underwater Brewery. Thank you to Sarah for their <laughs> generosity. 49 months of subscription and technical difficulties sub, as well as Rogue, who subscribed for 16 months. Uh, good evening, one hell of a long Friday, but it's good, but it's all better now that I'm here. Yes, glad that you are here as well. Okay, uh, let's bring up the Yakuza, why not? Let's, uh, let's just dump ourselves directly into the world of our good friends. Reboot yourself. Go to a cobbler, buy a new pair of boots. Take off your old boots. Put on a new pair. It's it's more steps than I'm used to, but uh, it it tracks. Shiny. Ooh. 
food is being acquired by people. Good. We're, we're doing, we'll, we'll be doing the peats tonight, if anyone is curious. Uh, from Alibaba. Lurker is fine. Thank you so much for those 13 months. This uh, 13 months of subscription this month, or this minute, uh, even now. Uh, yeah, thank you for uh, being a, a, a valued part of this community as well. Okay. Uh, ooh. Ingredients for Oyakodon tomorrow. That's going to be... That's going to be a, a fun put together and delicious build. <laughs> mm. Okay. What do we have to do here? We have to not go somewhere. Um, pause mute. Ah, Nakamichi Street. Uh, we should head to Nakamichi Street, where the quest nurple is. Huh? huh? I can't give you what I don't got. Get your out here. Put the line and pay back that money, jackass. What the? <laughs> You'll never catch me like that. So. Damn it! That asshole is quick. What's going on here? Huh? What the hell? Out of my way! I'm in a hurry here. Oh, good. We get to do this this mechanic again immediately. Shit, he got away. Damn it. Look, what? Wait, are you... You wouldn't happen to be... You aren't Kiryu-san, fourth chairman of the Tojo clan, are you? That's right. Do we know each other? Uh, you don't know me, but I sure as hell know you. I can't believe I ran into you here. I don't think I'll ever get to meet you, but I heard in the rumor... I heard this rumor that you left the city. It really is an honor, sir. Right. Who are you? Ah. Oh, sorry about that. Call me Shibiyama. I'm a debt collector. So a loan shark, then. Yeah, uh, I never made it into the Yakuza like you, but I always looked up to you during your old loan collecting days. Hell, we've got legends of the stuff you did collecting for the Dojima family. Is that so? Not much of a happy ending to those legends, though. I got into loan collecting because I wanted to climb the yak as a ladder, just like you. Oh, well, good luck with that. Uh, there's this guy, Motoyama, who's really pissing me off. Uh, he's got the cash to pay, but he keeps running off. And that's not all. This creep's got a real piece of work. He tries to trick women and even his own friends into paying off his loans for him. Hey, I know. Do you think you can help me catch him? I'd really like to see your work. Sure, what the hell? Let's get this little side story out of the way. This guy, Motoyama, sounds like a real scumbag. I guess I can help you out. <laughs> well, thank you, Rogue. I appreciate it. And hey, maybe I can learn a thing or two by watching you work. So, what do you want me to do? <laughs> Admittedly, the personality is permanently kind of bemused, but it works. I mean, it's... He lives in a very special world. A, a world different from the one you and I inhabit. Well, I got a tip the bastard just made a one million yen... Uh, well, one million yen payoff at the horse races. I want to pay off our loan before he uses it all up. <coughs> this is a photo of you, Motoyama. You can see he's a perfectly normal man. And absolutely is not the black and white version of Waldo. This jerk owes us a million yen, but he's an idiot when it comes to money. He just spends whatever he's got in his pocket. We gotta find him and get him to pay back that loan before he spends it all. This guy really does seem like a pain in the ass. I'll call you whenever I get a tip about his whereabouts. Beat him up where whatever you have to do. Just get that money back. <laughs> and whenever you can get back for me, I'll give you 10%. Just remember, the faster you catch him, the bigger reward you'll get. This is weird. I'll give you my phone number. Call me when you know where he's at. Okay, will do. And thanks again. <laughs> Waldo Luigi. <laughs> oh god, that's only slightly less disturbing than Voldo Luigi. Which is a thing I've just willed into existence. Let's sing karaoke all night. I mean, we could. We, we shouldn't, but we could. 
Uh, what's how is my body doing? My body is fine. Uh, ooh, we should check the coin walkers while we're wow. You can knock people right the fuck over. Let's go check out those coin walkers and uh, see what we can extract. I'm glad that the side stories have big green arrows on them now, so we can keep from getting too close. Ah, oh, that's right, we cleaned them out already. More importantly, loud you uh, the uh, three hours of in-game karaoke, the same songs over and over again. Yeah, it would be highly unpleasant. Ooh, can't get in there. Actually, before we got uh, I got online, I was uh, just reading an article about... Actually, it was a review of a uh, capsule hotel slash bath slash uh, bar in Shinjuku by uh, Rocket News. It was pretty... Uh, seemed like a pretty nice place to go. I think it was, what, what 4,000 yen to 40 bucks for the night? Which was good price for an overnight stay in a capsule with a good-sized bath in downtown Tokyo. Found a really good landmark, a convenience store. I'm out front of it right now. Okay, I'll take it. A convenience store. That's a pretty big clue to go by. Uh, well, if he was on Nakamichi Street, it's the Nakamichi Popo, no doubt. It's the Nakamichi Popo, no doubt about it. It you? It not you. That's just, uh, dang it. Ah, it you. Wait. <laughs> you stepped in my foot back there, you bastard. I'm willing to look the other way. For a bit of cash, though. You think you can ignore me? It's ain't gonna end with you walking away. And, I mean, that's a great sweater, let's be honest. Perfect! Oh, I'm glad that people go through the signs. Oh, I'm sorry, getting hit with a uh, terrible... Delivery delays their Dark Morphers. It's the worst when things just take a tour of the city. <laughs> Alright, let's just take the money. A swanky 30 bucks. Okay, so maybe it wasn't the Nakamichi Papo? No, that's that's where my uh, my, my quest nurple was. Talk? Oh, oh, good, we can just make him apologize more. Love it. It's not that we have to take a picture of him, is it? Nope, good, it's uh... Or wait, no, we load to get into these stores anyway. No sign of Rikia. Yeah, where are they? Any key? <laughs> I'm not too fine of this. Oh god. Um. You know what? Let's just let the. Uh, let's just let the Nurple guide us on our journey. One of these days, I'm gonna have to learn what these uh, street names are. That said, it hasn't happened where I live, so. I also have a really, you know what? I'm not gonna talk about the, uh, <laughs> just for OPSEC, I'm not gonna talk about the streets that uh, 
converge. Nor are you going to get my mother's maiden name or my, uh, or the name of my first pet. It's you! Know any clubs with cute girls? Mm. Sorry, I'm not too familiar with hostess clubs. Doesn't have to be a hostess club. Any place with cute girls is fine. Just watching them is super relaxing, you know? Well, well, how about that bar Serena on Tenkaichi Street? The owner there is a total knockout. Serena! Didn't that place close down after its owner was killed on account of some Yakuza trouble? Yeah, but it's recently got a new owner, so they're calling it New Serena now. Really? I had no idea. All right, then. Let's go see this knockout of yours. You, you, you may, maybe you shouldn't. <laughs> and Yakuza out of nowhere. Let's just uh, take him down pretty quickly as well. Okay, gonna need that. Gonna need this. Good. Take care of that guy. Gruntle that. Yeah, gruntle that Yakuza. <laughs> Starring Kazuma Kiryu and Goots. God, I'm so, I'm so I'm so ready for Goots. 2022. No sign of Rikia. Rikia. Well, you know, maybe if you told me where the where you were. Got a Goots STL file to print out. Okay. Oop. Nope. There we go. Too broke for a girlfriend? Try talking to people. It's great. The sound of the pachinko. Hey, the pawn shop. Let's pawn things. Oh, Dark Borford, that would have been perfect to do some cheese on National Cheese Lover's Day. Dang it. I'm really sad about that. That that said, I'm really pleased with the uh, the... The progress we made on that model, that is, uh, that yeah, is a straight. chonky boy. Uh, here to sell. What do I have to sell? Well, let me tell you. Uh, this golden plate absolutely does not need to be in my, uh, Platinum nail seems like that uh, might be useful for crafting, or it might just be one of those things that's worth a lot of money. New material XX, though, absolutely is a, a craftable material. And we are going to keep the Royal Joker card and the Piss Mountain uh, stone. As I'm sure there'll be some gambling to do later. I think everything else uh, stays in the inventory. Platinum Nail says it isn't very, uh, I mean, it says it isn't very practical, and yet I, I've been, I've been burned by games before. <laughs> oh yes, the Untitled Goose uh, STL has been floating around for a while, and uh, 
on, on one of our uh, super secret text channels, with, uh, the, the, the friend slacks, they, uh, <laughs> a bunch of people uh, printed those out. Uh, I have not done hey, mine yet, but uh, we'll save it as a project for later, perhaps. But yeah, Untitled Goose with uh, with the magnet and the beak is is pretty perfect in terms of a a tchotchke slash key holder. Uh. Oh, it's the Lone Shark. Good. Are we about to? Go away from this store? Uh, yeah, let's collect the loan. Oh, hey, what's going on? I'm getting reports of a drunk guy hanging out around the entrance to Pink Street. Guy sounds like Motoyama. Sorry for the trouble, but, uh, could you head over there and check it out? Got it. Oh, head over to Pink Street. Yeah, thanks. I'll give you 10% of the reward if you collect that loan. Okay, does this show up on my... On, on me map? Let's look at the map. What the? Back. Map. I mean, we are on Pink Street, if I recall. So, uh, map select. Okay, so A, zoom in. There we go. Uh, it must be the other end. Well, let's find out. Let's find out. So totally loaded. It's rad. I just heard Motoyama's voice, but I don't see him around the entrances. Maybe I'll look around a little more. I bet he is close to the slot machine. Wait, that's not a slot machine. That's a. What is this place? Curry shop. I'm down with a curry shop. So, oh, this is a good, uh, it looks like an Indian curry place, too. It's one of the great things about Japan. You have two different kinds of curry you can, <laughs> you can go out for. Okay, so he's at the entrance to Pink Street. Yeah. Uh-huh. Did he move? Modiyama has left Pink Street. Sorry, Pink Street. Well, God damn it! Okay, we'll just have to, uh... We'll just have to wait till he shows up again. Question for Iris there. If, uh, did your uh, Indian curry place have a lunchtime buffet special? That was one of my favorite uh, places around uh, Nagaoka for the Indian curry. Mm -hmm. Not blowing you off, but apparently I don't know how to email back. So, ooh, let's get that uh, locker key first. Oh yes, Rogue. Those, uh, the places where I went also did the unlimited non, which was oh, just so good. As it was, despite being you know tray non, it was fresh, uh, often replenished, and very good. There it says I was ordering off the menu, I think, or uh, else we only went there during dinner hours. It was a small shop. Ah. Perfectly fine. I don't think uh, I, I, the one that I went to had a, had a it was actually quite a large place and had a very uh, a very large brass uh, aesthetic to everything. Just a lot of brass fixtures in, in the place. Hmm. 
yeah, the one thing I did appreciate most about uh, teaching uh, the after-school clubs, uh, specifically Peppy Kids Club, was that uh, classes would run from 6 till 9. So you had a lot of time to get yourself uh, psyched up for a, uh, you know, a good, a good day of teaching, and then you could take advantage of some of the late night, uh, some of the late night uh, daily food, and especially the uh, isekaias after work. All right, we're gonna need to fight this this dude here, I think. Yeah. That's it. I'm also glad that I did that year of uh, school teaching. Because that was fun for other reasons. One of the interesting things about working for Peppy Kids, though, now that I'm completely out of the, uh, the, the business, and not this, and unfortunately this is something I couldn't do myself. But, uh, because it was a, uh, like a national chain, uh, and they would occasionally, you know, send people, if, if there were scheduled vacations uh, amongst teachers, they would send me, like, on a like a full two or three day uh, business trip to a different area to complete like a week's worth of lessons. But that means that you had the ability to uh, access the database of codes for the uh, the storefronts where we, we where we had our uh, where we had our classrooms. And because you know it's, it's it's meant to be a classroom where it's comfortable to sit on the floor. You know you'd often have these these uh, pillowy dice and. Uh, well, naturally, teachers would travel Japan, and uh, if they were particularly hard up for cash, they would uh, use what we call the Peppy Hotel, and <laughs> just uh, find a class that didn't f find a classroom that wasn't going to have an early morning class the next day, and just uh, spend the night in the classroom. Hmm. Oh, another another fight, another fight. <laughs> oh, Iris, that, I, I always think about that uh, the minute we start talking about uh, gluten treats. <laughs> and I count none as a treat. There we go. Whoa! Oh, hey, we should try the batting cages. <laughs> Untarnished 30. Good, good. All right. Keeping up with the directional. Natural Spa Ganban Yoku Estek Salon Nail Care Salon Refectology Hey, we got a new key. Let's uh, let's open it up. Well, we're in the area. Oh no! Oh no! No! Angry punk. I gotta say, doing New Year's s'mores was a kind of an interesting experience. Ooh, the lighter filter changes. Oh no! This is a uh, lighting based on the neon, or one of the signs, I think. Or is it just that, uh, that you're in different areas? Because the, uh, the color is shifting a lot. Yeah, no, it's just areas. Okay. Ooh. 
Yamada. How much did you have? Smelly old magazine. Got, gotta love this smelly old magazine. I'm hoping it's an issue of smelly old and not a magazine that is smelly and old. Uh, where are we gonna? Ah, 41. Ooh, it's a thick one. Ah, oh, <laughs> have a broken gun. Well, I guess we'll have to fix that gun later. Won't we? Oops. Gotta get out of the way of the crowd. Well, this is great. I was just heading towards the, uh, the batting cages. Okay. I felt a, a vibration of, a, of an angry man who wants to do me harm. So we just have to keep running and avoid touching human beings. All in a day's work. Oh, it's a shotgun. Okay, well. He's not here either. Of course. Of course. Haneke, it's Rikia. Where the heck are you? I've looked all over town. Look, there's some serious shit going down here, Haneke. Here's creepos are trying to nab some lady in the park. I'll be there soon, just... Don't do anything to... I'm not gonna sit around and let him snatch this girl. I'm going in, Anniki. Rash. Beep, beep, beep. Super ellipses. He must be at the children's park. I've got to hurry. Yeep. I mean, if... Look. I'm not going to tell abductors how to do their job. I'm going to tell them not to do their job. Uh, but also, you know, just... You might want to look, look at the optics of doing your... Uh, of doing your abductions at a place called Children's Park. It, it might make the judge a little bit less lenient on your... Uh, on your eventual sentencing. All Mac, all the time. Giryu-san, hope you're swinging through the jungle of life like a monkey hopped up on banana juice. Anyway, I just got a word that the bowling alley in Kamurocho is a hot spot for weird shit. Don't know if there's a grain of truth to that, but you might want to take a peek. BT dubs, I've been learning a ton of Japanese from this DVD I picked up the other day. I had no idea that you could use tentacles for that. Ha <laughs> ha, end. Th thanks, Mac. Let's go check out the bowling alley for some real weird shit later. Yeah, Rukia. Got your suit on and everything? Aw. Precious baby. メダス。ダダベビー。こんな場所で経験を出してるとな。それがどうした。お前に関係ねえだろうが。その女こいつらに襲われてたのか。はい。こいつら無理やり拉致ろうとしたんだ。と言っているが。だから、それがなんでってん
There's a fly buzzing in my ear that I'd really like to swat. Uh, let me out, at least. I'm the one they, they were messed with in the first place, you know. Fine by me. The more, the merrier. Oh, you think you're hot shit there, scumbag? <laughs> you bottom rungers never change, do you? What was that? All you do is hide behind your family crest like it's some kind of shield, but it's not. You're not tough, you're small. Hey. Much like UPS links. Hey, well, you know what? I'm bigger than you, fuckface. Then prove it. Punch, 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 punch! Run away, punch, punch, ow! Okay. Pick up cigarette, ashtray, and... Ow! Oh boy, let's have a drink. Oh boy. Uh, stamina. God, but how many of these do we need? Yeah, let's double exit. Okay. Oop. Pick up. I need to find more things to hit these people with. Like this. Nope. Cone me. Ah! Hey. Nope. Give me that. Fox. that that's good wait was that no that was my not my friend good <laughs> yes I guess the Nishikama family crest is too heavy for you after all. <laughs> hey! The hell were you thinking trying to kidnap this girl? What happened to Yak is having pride, huh? Oh, guys, it's not what you're thinking. Our boss just sent us over to prowl for the biggest girl we could find. It. What, what do you mean? What do you mean big? This girl's tiny. That aside... What was Kanda planning to do with her? Well, uh, you know, he needed to go for his hobby. Huh? You calling sexual assault a hobby? What the fuck is wrong with you? <gasps> Please, just, just hear me out. <sighs> the boss got this weird fetish, you see. He has to drag girls back to his office so he can massage them. It's nothing more than that, I promise. Is this some kind of joke? No, I, I'm totally for real. The boss loves nothing more than massaging a nice big woman. The thicker, the better. It, it is unfortunate when he requires us to take them by force, but... You believe in this anarchy? What does Kanda get out of all of that? I don't know. Nut. I get kind of sick if I dwell on it too much, but I bet he loves hearing a moan when he does it. Yep, Sarah, still assault if they don't want to go. Our only job is fighting girls big enough to ha at handle his massive, meaty hands. And, and that's why you were trying to kidnap her? Well, yeah, that's it. I swear. Nothing salty about it. I promise. Again, we need we go over what we established earlier? Thank you! 
You realize it's still assault, right? Thank you, Rikia. Anyway, what do you think, Anarchy? Should we believe him? Hard to say. No, but I doubt anyone would make up such an embarrassing story, especially about their own boss. That is fallen off. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah. Mm. Boy, perfect, yes. We'll ask the question. I mean, assault still seems like assault, so I mean, but, but. Maybe he's maybe he's exaggerating a bit. Like I was just following orders, sir. Who is just thinking about the boss's hobby it makes me want to hold on. Jesus Christ! And then the A also kink shaming and body shaming on top of that. This might be one of my least favorite main stories so far this game, which is not going so great so far. Ah. <sighs> All right, we'll let you go this time. Here, you mean it? Under one condition. Tell us where Kanda is. Uh, well, what are you gonna do to him? That's none of your business. Uh, no, come on, we're going to be in a hurry here. All right, all right. He's in the hotel district, a little place called Red Brick. Right. So if I'm getting this right, he asked you to haul a girl over to this love hotel so we could massage her? Ah, that's about to think of it. Sounded like the boss was real happy about something, too. Guess things are going good. That's uh, why well, he's going all out today for a hotel room instead of just bringing him back to the office like normal. What room is he in? It's, uh, 403. Hey, I used to be my area code. Got it. Room 403 at the Red Brick Hotel. And you're sure that's right? Yep. Then go. We're done with you. Hey, you okay? I think so, thanks. If you hadn't come when you did, I would have been for a pretty rough massage. No, oh, you know, my shoulders actually have been kind of sore lately. Maybe I should have gone with them. Tee! Ah. Uh. Anyway, thanks. I really appreciate you stepping in when you did. Wink. Nah, it's nothing. Any guy would have done the same. I'm not so sure about that. By the way... Can I have your contact info? I'm thinking maybe I can pay you back later, if that's all right. I need to go to the bank first. It's not, it's not like that. Oh, uh, you don't gotta do that, ma'am. Uh, be, be glad I gave you my name, though. It's Rikia. We need to get moving here. Hey, wait a sec, Aniki. Sorry, I guess I gotta run. Keep yourself safe, you hear? Aniki, wait up. Candace at the Red Brick Hotel, room 403. We gotta get here before he leaves. But your lips were moving, Kiryu. Are, do, are the brackets things you say in in life? All right, Rikia. Next stop is the Red Brick to find Kanda and deal with whatever this twitchy leg thing is I've got going on. I'm hoping he'll be willing to talk, but we need to be ready for anything in there. Sounds like he doesn't have very much. Or he doesn't like me very much. He might have a lot of things, like a massage table that I can hit him with. We're okay, Anakin. We're okay, Anakin. Ah, th th thanks. Ruby Riku Rikua? Ruby Doo. Yeah, sure. Uh, point is, I, I saw some flashing and I want it. I gotta go climb a tree. Take a closer look, okay? And then look up. And get the locker key. Hurrah! Yes, absolutely, Rock Pusher. This is uh this is prime drug buying time. Six fifty take human growth hormone every day. Uh what else? The bliss That's kind of a cool little uh 
a, a cool little uh, play on words there, Bliss 7. But um, are we in the way or is... Nope, nope, I think. Ah, <sighs> beautiful. Oh wait, oh no, they, that blinking is just a taxi. Uh, and the teeth was a taxi. Okay, now I'm now I'm learning things. Damn, that's a hell of a Dagwood. Oishi, oishi, chie no, odawari. Of course, I'm pretty sure that sandwich is not on the menu, but it should absolutely be, right? Well, I guess I can upgrade abilities. Let's just upgrade our abilities. Ah, uh, let's see. Increases maximum limit of heat gauge. Taught enemies with the spirit of white tiger to boost morale. Uh, like he dodge shot. Executed while quick stepping. Okay. Boost the speed of combo attacks. That seems good. Uh, throw power. Max health gauge. Um, you know what? Going into the fight, I'm going to suggest that we... No! Is it... Uh... Is this can we do? Nope. Nope. Huh. Abilities? Oh, abilities! Abilities are different than... <laughs> uh, right. Okay. So this is just a listing then. I get it. Let's clear everything out there. Good. Okay. Wait, can I just grab these? There's where we can do it. Okay, good. We're done. Thunder God. Thwart enemies while running in heat mode. Ooh, with the tireless spirit of a thunder god, activate it, move the cursor up and down. Okay. Hmm. Looking forward to it. Ah, uh, that's how it works. Thank you, Rockbusher. Anyway, I'm happy with what we've got. Drugs from the end store, probably. Let's hope. Yes, I'm okay. Uh, yes, I believe we can. No, this is a. Uh... Wow. No, just Torner. No actual. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we have to go to the actual drugstore. Uh, well. Let's go do that and also eat at a restaurant to boost our health. Okay, now if I remember correctly, the drugstore is uh, down in this area? Yes, Kotobuki Drugs. So that's, uh, basically we're just having to run that. Okay. So I need to go that direction. Probably should have run the other way. Oh well. All right. Oh. Can you use so difficult to control at full tilt? I wish I mean full tilt on the, the controller. It gets really twitchy. Need to increase my Kiryu steering dead zone, is what I'm saying. 
Did that man honk at me? Nope, but this man did. Ah. <sighs> Ah, people are here to see the fight. There we go. Thank you, campaign flag. you off the crowd. I mean, at least you get money from these fights. Van... Lu oh, sorry, I, I would very much like to quit the game and uh, go visit Van Louis Belgian Beer Club. Well, I think I'd very quickly become a not a founding, but at least a, uh, whatever, whatever the top tier membership they offer, I would be willing to, uh, accept. Ah, hell! Please, Gib. Gib. Crowbars work. Oh no. One more. Take that, you and your purple bur yeah, purple giraffe print. All right, let's grab our coin locker, and then let's go get some drugs, and then we're going to call it a uh, first period, I believe. Hercules gloves! I, I was just trying to figure out, and now I'm just going to sing it anyway because I'm not going to be able to get it in my head otherwise. Hercules, song and story, Hercules, in ancient glory. Now I've forgotten the bits in the middle of the fire and the fire every part of the mighty Hercules. Ah. Uh. Uh, no, we just want stamina X, as many as I can hold. Wait, can I, can I add some standard stamina? Nope, can't carry more stuff. I've only got two open slots. Clearly, I can't, uh, can't use those. Ah, because I'm putting them into those slots. Also, give me that. Get get out of my way. Get me that locker key. Uh, and then item wise, can I read that magazine? Can't use that here. Well, we'll need to use it later, I guess. Welcome back, Mr. Sean Wick. Hope you're having a uh, good start to the uh, the official weekend. Oh, yeah. Happy I am, though, I gotta say, that uh, I'm seeing a few, actually a number of more uh, articles talking about instituting a 4-day work week here in the North Americas, possibly. Let's see if that'll work. Top quality charcoal. Can't hear anymore. Send the top quality charcoal back to the hotel. 
Uh, and that means this is a good time for us to take that first break of the night. So, as we do all the time, uh, get up, stretch your legs, swap your fluids, and do what you need to do. Get comfortable for another round of Yakuza 3 in just a few minutes. Don't go all the way away. There we go. Uh, hey, folks, we're back with uh, more Yakuza 3 here on the Tildios channel. I'm glad to see some good, 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 good. Some good chats in the uh, chat there, uh, talking more about the, the benefits of an four-day work week. And I, 
I think it's very healthy to talk about this. The fact that it's difficult to get everything you need to do done. Uh, when when you're when you're dealing with uh, work uh, five days a week. And if you've got a commute on top of that, I mean, that's, then you're basically completely hosed for time. Yes, get biked upon. Yeah, live by yourself, mod a bunch, work on a desert project, best project half the year. True. True, but we, we also live in a, uh, we also live in a society these days that uh, values, or, or in fact, uh, almost demands for most people, including myself, more than one job. Uh, and that, that eats in, into time. Like this was, this was a, a discussion that was uh, brought up last night on Tinker Taylor Solder Fry by uh, a commenter asking how we deal with burnout. And honestly, for me, I don't know the answer to that question. And the only reason I know that it, I don't know it is because I haven't burnt out yet. It's not due to uh, any preventative measures on me. It's it's just due to the fact that. I, I am, now, let me be perfectly clear, I am hyper aware of, of uh, self, uh, like, um, the level of, oh, what, what, I can do that, yes, hyper aware of, 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 of uh, body exhaustion levels, etc, but, yeah, it's, so if I ever start to approach a limit, you'll know, don't worry, Ian will say, Ian has had enough, which was part of the reason I didn't uh, do any streams over the holiday break. My apologies, but... But... A salty toughness is... Oh good, let's send the, uh, the cap in. Because we want the toughness is with us. Yeah, Lurker Spine, that's, that's also the question that, I have to, that I'm asking myself, is like, am I just burned out already? And I don't know <laughs> when to stop. Um, but yeah, it's... Moving to a four-day week, if we're not going to get... Oh god, these are my favorite tobacco shots. If we're not going to get uh, a proper living wage issue, uh, universal basic income uh, in place, the, the least we could do is is give people more ability to manage their own time better. Uh, and by manage their own time, I mean give them more of their own time so that they could actually manage it rather than having to cram everything into two days, which quite frankly, for a lot of us, might just be better spent sleeping a bit more, which doesn't help the, uh, the, with the activities uh, that need to be done anyway of, of basic life. So yeah, this is, this is my thought on, on that. This tobacco shop, by the way, this is exactly like the one where I used to get my, uh, uh, my, my shaved tobacco for my uh, Japanese style pipe and love just like the old ladies hanging out at the counter or sometimes a dog. I never got a dog, but the old lady was great. It was just a Natsukashi moment for me. Natsukashi. Translator's note. Natsukashi means nostalgic. Oh yeah, and Sarah, when those, uh, you're, you're saying that uh, I want to rest, but if I rest, I don't get enough of those chores, errands done. And when those, those chores and errands are essential things, like, as you say, laundry and getting yourself food, and even cooking food, 
uh, whether or not you uh, you enjoy the task of cooking and or the results, we all got to eat, which means that's a thing that has to be done, which means that doesn't count under rest leisure. That's that's part of the human grind. And we should recognize that. Oh, Iris, yeah, no, I, I feel that commute too. Two hours each day is is too much. And honestly, we... <laughs> that's uh, low compared to some thing, uh, uh, some commutes that I've, I have heard before. I've, I, I understand there are people out there who regularly do, you know, an hour and a half each way, if not more. And that's... Uh, No, I, I forget which European country it was. I think it was Finland, or was it Switzerland? But they, uh, they actually yeah. big fat papa question mark? They, because it, it, in that country, it was mandated that your commute time is actually part of your billable hours at any job that you may get, which is mm, that's that's some good forward thinking right there. That's also the sort of thing that would really, uh, you know, drive more livable uh, mixtures of, uh, of of zoning and <laughs> placement of, uh, of multifamily dwellings, rental markets, access to services. But you know, ah. <sighs> Rise in Toronto. <laughs> yeah, Sarah, the uh, urban planting in Toronto didn't really, uh, didn't really go the way everybody wanted. <laughs> I mean, it went the way some people wanted, but those people don't have to live in Toronto. God, this, the, the, the video of Doug Ford uh, shoveling snow between his legs like he's never seen how his shovel is used before, then watches a man use a shovel properly and then proceeds to do the shoveling. It's like, <laughs> yes, you, you, you are a person who's never shoveled anything, uh, has never, uh, is probably only ridden in a car, maybe has their drive probably got their driver's license specifically just because they needed to get their ID checked when they were young. And yes, has been in charge of your province all pandemic. Um, oh, we should voice this. By the way, what's this kind of guy do anyway? A few hours ago, someone shut up the Kazuma family and murdered Kashiwagi Sen, the captain of the Tojo clan. What? But before he breathed his last words, Kashiwagi-san had something to tell me. There's a traitor in the Tojo clan. Oh yes, Iris, let's not talk about uh, Doug Ford, uh, Premier of Ontario's relationship to his brother uh, and their, their shared relationship to cocaine. More likely than not, Kanda is that traitor. This is no time to talk, though. Come on. Right behind you, Anki. Ooh, nice doors, though. Just, just, o kaku san. Hmm. Oh. うちはビジネスホテルじゃないんだよ。ちょっとちょっと。あ、いいだよ。お断り。え?どういうことだ。あんたたちどうせろくな商売してない人たちでしょう。オッケー、アスメック。I カップルじゃなきゃダメなんですよね。そうですよ。いや、私と兄貴はラブラブなカップルだから問題ないでしょ。おい。<笑> 
They're not supposed to peek their heads out, but it's supposed to be anonymous, but she is here for it. Thank you, Lemon Blacklist, for confirming the Luxembourg incident. For the commute time thing. And yeah, if it only takes two hours to cross Luxembourg, you know, less useful, but still. I, I believe the average salary in Luxembourg is probably a lot higher than uh, several other, you know, than a lot of places. So that's <laughs> <あー、あー、あー。笑> <laughs> Oh, Asmik, I absolutely believe that uh, much lower shift times are better overall in terms of productivity. I was especially amused uh, back just before the pandemic occurred in full force, and also through it, that there was uh, evidence that, you know, long meetings with large amounts of people in large boardrooms uh, and the, the influence of carbon dioxide and lack of ventilation in said meeting rooms causing cognitive function to noticeably decrease. Which to me is like, the minute, you, the, the minute, actually, honestly, that's one of those things that probably should have been dealt with a lot quicker. Because as an inv I will shareholder and investor and someone who's do uh, a piece of the action. I believe that if our uh, leadership people are sitting in a boardroom for far too many hours a day and are making ill-informed decisions based upon the level of carbon dioxide in their bloodstream, then we should change the nature of work for my own profitability. Leave the downstairs to me, Anarchy. <laughs> All right, Rikia, you are absolutely the person I am going to leave the downstairs to from now on. I'm going up. Kind of there's a room all with a light on outside. Press A button, kicking a door. Anything could happen if you open the wrong one. Oh boy. Yes, Rock Pusher, classrooms are also uh, small boxes with poor ventilation. Funny that. Hmm. Nope. My inventory's full. Okay, well, I guess I should uh, drink that uh, or drink something. Uh, is an X better than... Yeah, let's stab an X. Okay, good enough. And that opens up a slot to get the toughnesses. Well, 
I can't wait to find out what's going on in this room. <laughs> what are we? Well, that's unfortunate. Okay, look, I need this table for my work. Fun fact, for those not entirely aware, uh, a lot of couples in Japan use love hotels not for just straight boning down, but also for just spending time with each other because it's difficult to do that when a lot of uh when a lot of places are shared. Uh, Sky Ringtail, we are kicking indoors the love hotel because we want to uh we gotta find Kanda. Uh he was massaging women of a uh well he was massaging women. Unclear if the massages were against their will or not, but absolutely the uh their being there was, so uh we want to uh, kick his face in, but we don't know where he is. There he is. That was easy. And now he's gone. Great. Ah, hoop, hop, hoop, grab. Thank you. There's two down. I mean, admittedly, that's probably the sound I'd make if I got cut with a... No. <laughs> I'd be a lot more explicit with the sound I'd make if I got hit with a samurai sword. Oh, you! Come on, buddy! Drop the couch! You can't just wait here for us like that. There we go. Big purple sofa. That big purple sofa took away my old man. Don't always seem to go that you don't know what you got till it's gone. You pay your paradise. Protect the empty lot. Ooh, lot, 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 lot. Let's look. Kick it down. Sumana. Hot. Okay. Ooh, is he in the suite room? No, the suite's just up the stairs, I guess. Okay. Okay. This is some weird rap. Oh no. We have to go downstairs now. I'm not wasting this purple sofa. If anyone is curious, the sofa stays until the sofa dies of its own accord. Yeah, he probably did run downstairs. Is he back here? Nope. 
Aha! I didn't know that was gonna happen. Okay, now do I get my couch back? Do I get my couch back? Yes! that go around the edge? No, it does not. Okay. Downstairs again. Elemental Alchemist, I have been thinking that for the past, I want to say, actually 20 years at this point. Like, was, was, it was around the first Shenmue that they started calling them, that they started calling them quick time events, right? Like, you can't just do that. Words have meanings, and QuickTime is a... is a video codec. Or at least it was. <laughs> Mist is, is generally the correct, uh, uh, correct answer there. Do I think you're referencing then the QuickTime VR edition of that? Or, oh no, just the uh, cutscenes in Mist would have been QuickTime, yes. Thanks, Hypercard. No, I got to be the, uh, I got to be the, 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 the expert on QuickTime VR in the province of Alberta, uh, as 1996. And then QuickTime VR, uh, was no longer a, a concern of any sort. QuickTime files outside of the game got Iris uh, unstuck from a couple of puzzles there. So you you, you were one of those early uh, source uh, source viewers looking for secrets that way. Oh, Mercano, I absolutely had the Star Trek: The Next Generation Enterprise D technical manual. Uh, VR edition, I believe it was called, with introductions from Jonathan Franks. <laughs> yep, back upstairs. Ah, worth every step. seems less effective. Extinguisher. Wait, it looks like I could spray people with that. Nice. 
Knife time. Ooh, sword time. Second knife time. Or second sword time, and either or. Oh no, this is not going well as I want it to. Hex editors and blessed a res edit were the best back on the Mac days. You know what? I should actually. Uh, I should eat and drink. I should eat and drink. Good. Actually, while we're there, what does this do for me? Uh, defense one against blades is, uh, can't be used. Okay. Oh, maybe we should equip the shotgun, though, too. Slot? Oh, because I can only have a total of four things. That's... Now I understand what's going on there. Alright, where's our boy? Can't be there. Can't be there. All right, he's another floor up. Yeah, the most practical use out of my knowledge of uh, which was Big Indian, which is Little Indian, is really just making jokes for people who know the difference between Big Indian and Little Indian. Ah, uh, zero practical knowledge. You like that, hon? Man. Japan needs a few more... <laughs> No, you know, I'm going to commit to that. Japan needs a few more fetishes. I think it's uh, starting to run low. Paul, I have looked at that as a, as a option as well uh, for 3D print cleaning. Uh, not sure if I'm going to try that in particular because it seems uh, it seems a little bit messy. Oof. And that said, I, I, I've honestly been getting it wrong. Oh yeah, you need safety gear as well. It's, it's part, part of the other issue too. <laughs> uh, I mean, you should be using safety gear whenever you're working with any sanding or uh, uh, really any sort of chemical that has a data sheet, which will tell you what sort of a safety equipment you need. <laughs> what was I saying about that though? Um, Most, uh, so for, for the, the UV-cured resin, um, I believe pretty much all of the, uh, 
FDM plastics used for that type of... There we go, he's back upstairs. Our, our safe to spread resin on and then use UV to, to harden, but... Yeah, cure alcohol wash, water washes. I, I, I just have a, I find that FDM is good for its own things and you can make things pretty, uh, pretty smooth to, uh, pretty smooth to begin with. I still need to actually, I haven't realized I've, that I hadn't uh, brought down or increased the resolution on some of the prints I've done. So there's a ways to go. And honestly, a good, uh, I've been getting good really results with high build primer and then sanding over top of that. Oh my God. Are they making a, a, a Jaws reference? <笑><笑><笑> ゆっくり話すわけにはいかないようだ。仕方ね。力ずくで話聞かせてもらう。ビッグファイトタイム。オッケー。No, I'm the one with heat mode. I don't like seeing you with my brother's, uh, my name. Hit you with a chair until you fall down. Hey, there's, there's goodies in the pool. <laughs> oh, what a good, what a good little dance we did. Ooh. No, he's got a reach on him. <laughs> Oof, got to double tap those. That's not the way you do it. Get up, Kiryu! Get your head out of the table! I just do there. Let's, that was what I was trying to use. He got to it first. Oh boy. Oh. Shotgun. Uh, it's heat. Other toughnesses should be good for us. Nope. Maybe 
quicker. Stop using my pieces of furniture. I own those. Okay, let's uh, take another drink. And then pick up that. Good. We got another drink there. We can see the green bar on this man. Ugh. Oh, this is going to be a rough one, folks. I'm pretty sure. that don't belong to you. Quick time. No! No! That's not yours! Give it back! Oh, shoot, I hit the wrong button. Taking another drink here just because. Stamina X myself up. Uh, yeah, hollow. Uh, we do not have a Discord for Tilty House because it's. I'm not big on Discord to begin with, first off. And, uh,. of good discords out there already that can be uh, joined. Mm, and Sarah doesn't want to mod one. That's right there is a good option, uh, reason as well. Maybe I should get myself a, uh, a Tilty House IRC, or maybe just the channel. Fully unmodded. But yeah, it's, uh, it's a case that there really hasn't been a need. Um, because we don't do much outside of, uh, as a production, uh, for the streams. There's a late night dub fight, which hasn't happened because we don't go see things in person anymore. Uh, and uh, podcasts, which you know, maybe that's something to leave as coy, but the. Oh, yeah, hold I, 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 in the meantime, I would recommend a. Uh, the loading ready run the discord but that might not work for some people because that could also be pretty uh pretty heavy on the number of words per minute <laughs> It's good to know. Yes!
Yeah, well, I get you there too. That's uh... <laughs> wow, that went on a while. But it was worth it. It was worth it. It was worth it. お前の知っていることを話してもらおうか。俺は何も知らん。この場においんで何も知らないとは言わせねえ。柏木さんを弾いたのはお前の組だろ。シャワー。柏木さんをお前は登場会の後目を狙っていた。だから柏木さんをお
Ah, good. Oh, there's email too. Nothing but Mac. Hello, Kiryu-san. Let me cut you to cut to the chase. I got another shot for you. There's this rocking soba joint in the southwest part of Kamado Cho. But the owner's totally bonkers. Apparently his noodles suffer for it. Anyway, keep your eyeballs trained on that owner and you'll chance come into this no time flat. Probably when he hops on his bike, if I had to guess. What end? Where's the other one? Uh, right, right. Bowling alley. Right. Let's make our way to, uh... Wait a second, is that... Well, the meat place is already, uh, is already located for us. All right, um... Let's go head down towards the bowling alley. And see if we can get that shot, huh? That seems like a good use of our time. Because then we'll have more, uh, more finishing moves. And that's half the game, really. And yes, I would also absolutely love to just murder some Yakiniku right now. <laughs> or at any point. Muck the bull, bull, bull! What are we doing down here? Is it in the bowling alley? Okay, let's uh, look at things. Not people on a date. That's not going to get us anything. They are very much in agreement, though. Mm -hmm. Ooh, locker key. Good. Okay, nope, can't get through there. Hmm. Maybe, oh, no, nope, that was just me knocking into someone. Yeah, I get the feeling there might not be one here. Wait, wait, wait! Hmm? Oh, damn it! I looked at the chat for a second. Gotta do it again. Wait, are they gone? Okay, I'll have to come back. Clearly that's that's all that needs to happen. There's our boy. Okay, let's try that again. Hmm? Hmm? Oh, yeah. Pay attention, Ian. There we go. And there he goes. And finally, then that should do it.
You could knock down everything with a ball that says, never underestimate the power of inertia. The real, he's the real winner for entertaining everyone. Uh, never understood, but Esther, ner eh. Inertia. Is it knock down anything with a ball that size? Oh! Well, we'll just have to let this whole thing happen again. Hey, Krimmel, welcome and friends. Krimmel and friends, welcome to the uh, the stream here. We're playing Yakuza 3, and uh, we are currently in the process of attempting to learn a new move. Still love it. Yeah, Square Duck Cube, this is absolutely some sort of a uh, a Japanese wordplay pun. Uh, yeah. Um. Um. Another revelation. There's nothing quite as satisfying as getting a strike in bowling, but this guy took it a little too far. Still, I did, did give me an idea for a new move. I guess I should thank him. Okay. 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 <laughs> Curl, I am indeed having a good stream, and uh, actually, you, 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 uh, you caught me at a uh, an auspicious time because this is a time where we would usually, uh, and in fact are going to take a short break. Uh, yes, need to get up, swap our fluids, stretch our legs, and get ready for the the finisher. Uh, we'll be back with more Yakuza Three in just a few. Don't go all the way away.
folks, we're back with uh, more Yakuza. Like, <laughs> Yakuza, like the third one, man. Uh, and uh, we're, 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 we're uh, having fun. Where are we at right now? Uh, ooh. We were, yes, we were grabbing ourselves a cheeky move for special finishes. And then we're going to grab this key that's on the ground here. And then... I believe we're going to go uh, buy some drugs and punch some people. Yes, that is what we will do. Drugs first. Always drugs first. Oh, wow. Oh, you can see in, but you can't go into the volcano. Actually, you know what? I haven't... You know what? I haven't checked this club Sega yet. Or if I have, I haven't remembered. Ah, hell. So we're going to check ourselves uh, out what an arcade is as soon as we get out of this fight. Fight. Ow, ow, ow. Sorry, I needed to bring up the picture of the dragon that was... Uh, not, not, not this dragon. The, uh, the, the dragon what is being painted by Iris. <laughs> <laughs> kick, kick. Shredded thirty thousand yen. Three thousand. Three thousand yen. Okay, what's the way to get into this? Si oh, that's the in hole. They change the in the in holes occasionally. Well. Okay, Boxelios. Not playing Boxelios. Uh, quiz game is not for me. You know what? Time for a cheeky UFO catch. Because I like large roundums. Oh boy. This. Uh... Yeah. Oh, that frame rate is not happy. Uh, okay, shall we try the large friend? Let's try the large friend. Okay, and then back. Grippins. What? No! Oh, don't tease me like that! Alright, let's... No. It's all Big Bird all the time now. Okay, and around this side. Come on! Oh! Okay. I'm not sure how the physics works here, but... Hexy, part of my love of these machines is the, 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 uh the music that goes along with them. Okay. Can we grip his ridiculous head? Do we have enough grip strength? Grab the eye. Yes. Yes. No. The eye is structural. Yeah, Dark Ford... Uh, Dark Warford, the foot may be the, uh, the target now. We're gonna do another round. Once more. Going to the left. So I'm up there. Yeah, let's say about there. And then about here? Oh, that's way too close. Or is it?
Okay, now that that foot is absolutely in our, uh, well, in our grasp. Is that too far back? It's too far back. That's too far back. He said, <gasps> gripping the large friend tightly. <laughs> Crane, game, must do a, a, got the big P.O. Chan. <laughs> Woo, okay, okay. Uh, let's, uh, let's wrap it up with a, uh, a medium P.O. Chan then, I guess. <laughs> Thank you, Lurker Spine, for those, uh, that, that little cheer those bits there. I'm back. Hey, Abu. Abu. Large P.O. Chan must be worth some good cash. Oh, yeah, there we go. Hey, I, see, that's something I, uh, that just occurred to me that I don't know if, uh, y'all are aware of, but uh, you may recall that we've played in the past a game called uh, Judgment, which is a spin-off of the Yakuza games. Uh, how come we didn't get that sound when the big P.O. happened? Okay, we're done here. For now. For now! Oh, right, I need to go back and get, get the key on the ground. Um, yeah, we played a little game called uh, Judgment. And turns out there's gonna be a Judgment TV series starring Kimo Yutakaya. Which could be interesting. Maybe he'll be allowed to sing. <laughs> Dresseth, no, I believe you, uh, you do not get any sort of achievement or uh, anything for it. Emptying the UFO catcher. What you get is a sense of self-satisfaction for a job well done, and also a shit ton of borbs. Let's empty our lockers. Seven. Royal Joker. Thirty-eight. Red Jewel. 40. Baroque Pearl. Okay, go away. Uh, yes, and then we're gonna go to the, uh, the phone to send some stuff away as well, too. Wait, can I use the item box from here? Or is this just a item box? Yes, please. All right, let's send away the uh, souls. That, 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 that. Old magazine. Uh, we are currently using that. Roulette. Crown. Large PO. And that is everything that we can send away. Now let's fill it up on drugs. But first I want to have a look at this, uh, this display here. Of, uh, what's on the various floors. We got Live House number one. Dance Hall New Farudo. Oh, wait, no, that's not... What? <laughs> no! Don't make me hit you. Oh! 
that wasn't helpful to anyone. Good, good, good. When will you get to use the new finisher, Dark Warford? Hopefully soon, but it's a super finisher, so it might not be. Might not be for a while. So, I guess what I'm saying is I have no idea. Unfortunately. Uh, what else up here? Chinese restaurant we had. Uh, Haikara-san. Kimono. Ooh! Sorry! This, on the second floor, we've got the, uh, Kimono Kabakra, so a cabaret club, uh, Haikara-san, which would be a, I, I'm, I'm guessing a, a cabaret club, but in kimonos, I hope. Banana boats, okay. Uh, Yukunko. Don't know the kanjis there. Show Club Butterfly and Doraigo. Oh, high class? That makes a lot of sense, actually. Ghost Bell. We're gonna eat a large beef bowl. Make me powerful. Wow, not powerful enough. I am eating more. Uh, we will have a smaller beef rice. Oh, no, 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 we're done. We're done. No point eating now. I'm not hungry. Good advice. I'm feeling deep ennui about the state of the world. Better eat a lot. Let's get a stay. Big bottles of drugs. Uh, stamina X10. Goodbye. Actually, wait. No, stamina X is what we want. That's the, that's the best one. Heat and health. $300 on drugs. Yeah, Gyo is on the, on the side would have been the uh, the pro move squared out cube, but I was still feeling the old uh, the old Yakuza six days or whatever it was that we played most recently, where you know, like a dragon, where things would almost uh, is that Magic Johnson? I think it is. I'm getting addicted to this Tan Takatan stuff. It's so good. I know, right? It's made with like gorilla leaves, right? I love to mix it with cranberry juice. Why don't you stop by my club tonight? I'll pour a bottle up for you on the house. Ooh, count me in. I have a glass of Tan Takatan ready for me, okay? Tan Takatan. <laughs> I remember this when I'm over at the cabaret club. So I can drink like I'm back home in Okinawa. Parking lots are where... Ooh, wow. Interesting vehicles show up. Uh, who wants to bet that later on there's going to be a gun shop in there? Ooh, there is one over there. Next to my favorite bar, still here, take off and landing. Oh, yeah. I believe that was the aged Aomori uh, that we learned about several episodes back. Yeah, much like a shochu. 
Thank you, Mr. Wick. Uh, where are we going here? Right. To the, uh, the place that is a Yakiniku joint. Right after I get my key off the ground. Haven't been to this parking lot yet, either. It's been a while. So this is the place. Wonder if there are any stars in there. Get enough in one room and you got a whole damn constellation. Guess we won't know till we go in. Come on. Yes. yes. Hmm. Don't see any celebrities. Hell, there aren't even any other people in here. And yet there's all the sounds of a bustling restaurant. You can't expect it to be packed all the time. Come on, let's order. It's my treat, so get whatever you want. <laughs> oh, really? Thanks a ton, Aniki. Let's go with two beers, some Calbee, some sirloin, and an order of salted tongue. A plate of tripe. Oh, and a Veracruz pork while you're at it. Uh, we can. Oh, yeah. And make all that a double portion for me and my Aniki here. Then I'll have a kimchi combo and a Calbee soup on top of that. And some nice chilled noodles for dessert. Aniki. You want some soup too, Aniki? I don't think my stomach can fit all of this. Dang. By the way, Aniki, I was strolling around town for a while before we met up. Sure are a lot of interesting people here in Camarocho, huh? Beardos, businessmen, schoolgirls, you know, the three genders. Yes, you, you could just spend an entire year of people watching and never run out of subjects. Makes you wonder how all their lives led up to this point, converging in this city. Mm. Totally! Wonder we can find what I'm after here. Are you, what are you talking about? Come on, Aniki. We talked about this right after you beat the human something out of me. I'm looking for a guy to finish my Viper tattoo, remember? Right, sorry. The other tattoo artist died before he could finish, didn't he? Mm -hmm. Don't want to trust my Viper to anyone who doesn't know about the spirit of Okinawa. But I'm kind of starting to think someone here might have what it takes. The guy who's lived in camera show, seen all sorts of people come and go, even if they're not from Okinawa. I bet he could get what I'm going for. What do you think, Yannicky? Well, I might just know someone who can help. Real, real. Can we go see him? If we got the time, I mean. Sure, why not? But let's do some sightseeing first. All we've done so far is sit in this restaurant. Totally. Let's get a move on. <laughs> and Anarchy, that was like a party in my mouth. I guess you could put it that way. Your total come is to six hundred sixty-five thousand yen, sir. Six hundred and fifty dollars is a pretty hefty bill. Woof. Thanks a lot, Anarchy. Of course. Yeah, I, I... Huh. Of restaurants that I would be willing to drop 300 bucks a person in, uh... Korean barbecue is not one of them. Let us continue exploring with Rikia. I guess I could hang with Rikia some more. You want to go somewhere? So you bet I do. Heard some amazing things about that shop, Don Quixote. They say the theme song will stick in your head. They're right. For days. We don't have them down in Okinawa, though. Don Quixote, huh? Well, that should be easy enough. Aniki. They're open 24 hours a day, right, Aniki? Yes. Camelot is the city that never sleeps, after all. Wait. Then do other Don Quixote's close like regular shops? That's right. This one has a special hour because of where it is. Please. Ha! Cool shit! Anyway, let's get moving. Yes. Ah, it was a toque, not green hair. Curious.
Yeah, I mean, if if I were to drop three hundred dollars per person on a uh, on a meal, it would not be a meal that I cooked myself at my own table. <laughs> Crunch. Thanks for stopping by, uh, Sean. Uh, have a good night and uh, rest up. Grab. Cut, kick, finish. No, finish. <laughs> grams of ribeye on the bone hollow sounds amazing I was, I was trying to think of like would would I be I'd probably be okay dropping that I meant when dropping spending 300 on an, on a absolutely top end omakase sushi uh meal but even then I th I I wonder like mm, but I could also spend three hundred dollars just absolutely stuffing myself at a uh, at a slightly lower quality place. It's it's really tough. But there are some places that. Uh, you know, you, you can spend a large amount of money on a food and get a very pleasant, uh, very pleasant time with your meal, too, which is nice. Gamer cow, that's ooh messing up the decimal place uh, is very easy in Japan, and uh, yeah, that can lead to some uh, very dangerous situations. <laughs> yeah, the thing, the number one thing, what is going on here? Number one thing I don't want to do is uh, just end up paying money for. Not extract like I don't want gold foil shit on my my, my meals. I, I would like maybe some rare ingredients or some expertise oh, yeah. in preparing things, or some difficulty and time spent in it. But what I'm honestly most interested in is good food, and <laughs> it can be expensive or it can be cheap. God, real gamer cow, I haven't had an expensed meal in years. Divine Dragon, what kind of shop is this? It's a tattoo parlor. I just kind of stumbled upon it here. Seriously? You're telling me there's a tattoo artist hold up here? You're going to advance the plot? 
Yes, Master Utabori. He's the one who takes care of the tattoo on my back. Hmm. Oh, that guy's gotta be legendary if he did your dragon. Are you starstruck? No, it's just my viper's not finished. I was thinking, maybe, you know. I get it. You want me to ask Master Utobori if he'll finish it up for you? <laughs> what do you? I'd be honored to get work done by the same guy who worked on you, Anarchy. Follow me. Mr. Utabori, sorry to intrude. Ooh. Ah, Kyo, what bring you here? I was wondering Let's... if you'd <laughs> work on the tattoo of my friend here. His name is Rikia. That's a friend. Interesting. His artist passed before he could get his tattoo finished, so we were hoping that your needle might be the one for the job. Hmm. Mystic Man 89, you are, yes, yes, there is in fact that same sort of stigma because the only people who get tattoos are criminals, so therefore the only people who, uh, who, who, who can make tattoos are people who will, who will work with and for criminals. Uh, I believe it was actually, I, correct me if I'm wrong, if anyone is also there, but I think tattoo artists were actually part of the Buraku men. Uh, uh, tattoo class of people during the, uh, the pre-Meiji eras. Search only for Burakuben tattoo. <laughs> you know, maybe, maybe doing this live is not the best idea. And also, uh, attempt, assuming DuckDuckGo has any sort of idea what I'm talking about, it's probably not the best thing. Hmm. But yeah, I've, uh, oh, Lysander, I'm absolutely certain that they're going to actually, uh, they're, they're going to recognize the artist on this tattoo. I got some yagu, wa, the way, yagu, wagyu beef though too. That's uh, not something I have done while I was in Japan, and I think I might have come into contact with it at some point. But it's it, it's not meant to be treated the same way as as uh, a, a Western steak because uh, it is a very different marbling texture level. And uh, yeah, min mince wise, I thought might be good in hamburgers because you again you're 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 not taking advantage of that marbling but you get the fat content which uh works well or meatballs as uh, as was also suggested um real gamer can ah and they were ridiculous and completely ordinary <laughs> yeah and it's preparate the problem with wagyu is you have to treat it differently than regular beef and at that point, it's not beef. It's it's its own thing. <laughs> Treat it that way. I am so sorry, but you'll need to find someone else if that's what you want. I can't add it to another's work. Well, that's the end. Yes, yeah. hello. You you got it there. You make a very fatty burger and pair it with a very vinegary pickle or pickled onion, and they complement each other nicely. Yes, being aware of your flavors enhances the flavor. <laughs> Because you can pair them properly. Mm -hmm. Listen, listen well, Kay. A tattoo changes a man's life. You, you know that better than anyone. The creator and the receiver must both be prepared to bear lifelong responsibilities that that tattoo brings. So I'm sorry, but the answer must be no. Call me a stubborn old man if you wish, but this is something I won't compromise on. Okay, we'll find someone else. Huh? Hey, hold on a second. It's gonna refuse before you even see the damn thing. You're not an artist. You're a coward. 
we hear the thunder. Sorry, Anki, but I can't let this go. That viper is the soul of Okinawa. How can he talk like that if he won't even look at my tattoo? I admire your spear, boy, but don't presume to lecture me on my own trade. Fine, then I'll just show you. Take a look at this. Watcha! おお。恐れ入ったか。あんたがどれほどの掘りしか知らねえが、俺のハブには叶わねえだろう。ほら、ここのところよく見ろ。この色柄。すげえだろ。Kira, <笑> boy has quite the fire in his belly. I'm so sorry for how he's acting. He usually doesn't do this. <laughs> well, let's hear it, old man. Tell me what you think. Naruhodo na. But not only does the technique impress, but I can tell the original artist truly cared about you and their statue. <laughs> Damn right he did. So what do you say? You gonna finish the job for me? Yeah. Please forgive me, I'm afraid I just can't do that. What? Why not? Well, your artist did an exquisite job on this piece, and there's no doubt about that, but as I said, both the tattoo's creator and receiver must be prepared to bear the responsibility that it brings. <sighs> uh, not this crap again. I, I don't know about you, but I don't know your ambitions, and I don't know why you've chosen to carry that tattoo. As long as those things remain a mystery to me, I cannot do what you ask. Ah, uh, stubborn old shit. Watch it, Rikia. My apologies, but I'm gonna have to ask you to leave now. Right, sorry we barged in on you like this. Come on, Rikia. Let's leave. What a waste. Figured the guy who did your tattoo was going to be some badass needle slinger, not a hack job. That's enough, Rikia. Learn to show some respect. Hmm. Well, that sucked. Guess we'll go to Don Quixote and you can buy a t-shirt. Hmm? <gasps> hey, I'm so sorry. These things are all looking for a quick buck, right? Here, just take my wallet. Don't hurt us, please. Huh? The bugs, he says. First you slam your drunk asses into us, and now you insult us. We're going to need more than whatever mothballs you've got in your pocket to pay our hospital bills. Also, I'm going to need a new Cosby sweater when this is all up. But that's all I have on me. <laughs> that's an easy fix, ain't it? There's an ATM right over there. How about we make a little withdrawal? Please, I can barely afford rent as it is. Leave it alone. You're not hurt. You're just bacon. Huh? And you're who, huh? Didn't your kindergarten teachers ever tell you to mind your own damn business? Ah, oh, they're just street, street thugs. <laughs> for the sweater, Dean. Give me a sign! Give me something to hit these people with! Oh, 
There we go. <laughs> and we got a heat action pro uh, achievement for it too. And all you got is expecting your big city boys to put up more of a fight. Thank you. It was nothing. Now get out of here, okay? And next time, lay off the booze. Okay, we will. Mark my words. Come on, honey, let's go! Look at Mr. Big Shot. Coming to save the day. Huh? Oh no, it's Muroto. I see you hung with my boys up the dry. Good. They deserve a nice ass whooping for starting shit where everyone can see them. Huh? Well, how are you? Who am I? Me? <laughs> you ain't from around here, are you? There's not a soul in Kamurocho who doesn't know the name Hyoei Muroto. And I guess we're going to fight now. Wait, what? <laughs> yes. Do it! ビビったか、ボケが。行きましょう、兄貴。バカの相手をしてる暇はないですし。うん。そうだな。また喧嘩だ、ボケ。わしの話を追ってないっちゅうね。じゃあ、信じ。超えるのも大概にしとけよ。
I should just learn some manners, boy. Well, in the meantime, feel free to come back to me if the color ever begins to fade. I maintain all my work as long as I live. I'll be back for sure. Gotta keep that Utapori uh, touch intact. Come on, Rikia. We should get going. Thank you again, mister. Take care of yourselves. Uh, you also got 10,000 XP for watching that boy get his tattoo done. It's a, it's a service I like to provide. Anyway, off donkey. Off to Don Quixote. Whoop. Right, the sushi gun's down on the street, too. Chinko. And here's the Don Quixote. You can tell because of the plush donuts in the, in the opening. Wow, it's even more incredible than I was expecting. <laughs> that large man did just pivot right on his heel in a beautiful way. Sure are lots of teenagers here. Yes, it's incredibly popular with the younger crowd. Anyway, I think I'll wait out here. Don't buy any more than you're willing to carry, okay? Liss. Liss. I'll be back in debt. I mean, back in a bit. Aniki. Sorry to keep you waiting out here, Aniki. Uh, let's go stuff these in a locker that you'll eventually find the key for, right? Looks like you bought the entire store. <laughs> I got kind of carried away, but it was also cheap. I couldn't help it. Oh, and I also nabbed some souvenirs for the kids back at the orphanage. You did? I really appreciate that, Rikia. Nah, it was nothing. Anike. Anyway, you think there's somewhere we can dump all this stuff before we uh, head home for the night? They want to coin lock? Yeah! Oh, yes, there are some lockers just down this street. Nice. Sweet. Lead the way. Or we could use the item box. What? What's the item box, Anakin? Well, the, the item box. Whenever you approach a telephone, the phone gives you the option to save your progress or access the item box. I've never been given the option to save my progress. What are you talking about, Anakin? I've made a horrible Anakin. mistake. He knows too much, and I have to kill him now. Anarchy, you're not planning to kill me over oh, some yeah. sort of game world that you're living in. A delusion? No. Pretend we never had this conversation, Rikia. You got it, Anarchy. Here we are. Nice. Great. Just give me a sec. There's lots of open lockers for some reason. Anarchy. All settled. Looks like we're done with the shopping leg of the trip. What now? Continue exploring with Rikia. Guess I could hang out with Rikia some more. Rikia, do you have anywhere else you want to go? Oh, yeah, I do. Get me on the roof of that monstrosity over there. With the Millennium Tower? That's got to be like the tallest building in the world, right? I want to see how Tokyo looks from up there. I'm not sure we can do that. The cops are all over the place. <sighs> yes, they would be, huh? I was surprised after what happened. Sorry about all this, Anarchy. I got caught up on uh, my own hype. I never stopped to think where the woman you were going through. It's okay, Rikia. Anarchy. Hey, why don't we go someplace quieter? I could slip into something more comfortable. Wait, why? Well, I mean, I never met this Kashiwagi-san personally, but he was real important to you, right, Anarchy? Yes. Then it's settled. Anyone who's important in your eyes is important in my eyes as well. Come on, I grabbed some beer over Don Quixote. Why don't we sit down and crack him open and pay tribute to Kashiwagi-san? Good call. Rikia. How about it, Anarchy? Sure. That sounds nice. 
Public Park 3 is a pretty quiet place. And Japan does allow public drinking, so... Heck, why not? There's even a Nurple available for us. And whoop! Yeah, I'm just waiting to get, get him interested in Kata, okay? Kashiwagi said. He used to push me on this swing when I was 23. What's up? What kind of guy was Kashiwagi san? Well, he was made of meat. He knew what my he knew what my adopted brother Kazuma Stan stood for and kept the Kazuma family legacy alive while he took over as their second patriarch. Honestly, Kashiwagi san was Leading. Great at leading from the shadows. He didn't really like being a center of attention, but I can't tell you how many times he saved my life. It was thanks to Kashiwagi-san that Daigo was able to take control of the Tojo, despite being so young. He was a priceless asset to the clan. Wow, I was fair, he was amazing, but never knew how much. Amazing? Yes. I guess so. I was especially in awe of how much he loved cold noodles. I I want to throw one of the weird ones in there just for you know what? F it. I was especially in awe of how much he loved cold noodles. Ah. We always used to get yakiniku together when I was young, and he'd ordered cold noodles every time without fail. He'd get so worked up if they were out too. Sometimes he'd even send it to the store to get ingredients so the shop could make more. You were an errand boy, Aniki? Oh, there's nothing strange about doing what the boss says, especially when you're just starting out. Okay, that was worthwhile. Oh no, of, co of course it's not strange. Definitely not. <laughs> Listen, Rikia, you don't understand what Kashiwagi said was. What he was like when he couldn't get his noodles. It was terrifying. All right, all right, don't blow a fuse over there, Eddie. Sorry. I will say, though, the only time I saw Kashiwagi Sen get upset like that was when he couldn't get his cold noodles. Hmm. Never would have guessed. Kind of scary about, but uh, I suppose everyone's got something they go wild for. I mean, it, Adam Zero, maybe we can get a prequel where we get Kashiwagi his story. We should get going, Rikia. Uh. Mm. Anywhere else you had in mind? I don't know. All this talking made me sad. Hey, why don't we go to one of those bikini bars I'm about? What do you say, Aniki? God damn it, Rikia. Hell yeah! You can expect me to leave Tokyo without first getting a little taste of the ladies, but uh, I can go by myself if you really want. That might be for the best. Sorry, I'm not really feeling up to the bikini <sighs> bar. Figured. My bad, Anarchy. I was just trying to cheer you up. I think I just heard fireworks, and I don't know why. That was weird. But just go to the bikini bar by yourself. Enrique, thank you. What? what? No, it was nothing, Enrique. Just wish I could have been more help, you know? Anyway. Anyway, I guess I'll just get going. Think you can manage on your own? <laughs> oh, totally. I, I got a pretty good feel for the layout by now. <laughs> if you say so. By the way, there's a bar called New Serena on top of... Tenkaichi Street, that we're going to be using as a base of operations. Head there when you're done wandering, and feel free to, to give me a call if you uh, have trouble finding it. Yeah. Will do. Catch you later, Aniki. By the way... By the way, Aniki, here's a little thank you for showing me around. 
Yay, good. The 1-1-1 one, one, one card will be useful when we need to gamble. I mean, yeah, Symphonic Lolita. Uh, people do set off uh, fireworks at weird times, but... I mean, January... January, the date that it is currently in January, uh, the 21st, to me, seems like a weird day to be setting off uh, fireworks. Gee, it's me. How things go with old Baldy? That's not that's not Dottie's voice at all. I found him. He was horrible, all right, but he's pretty small time. I don't think he has a wit to outsmart out smart Keshiwagi sin. Hey, and here I thought we had a lead. There we go. That's it. Guess we weren't as close as we thought. Anyway, I'll fill you in when I get back. You over at Serena? Hey. Mama said we said we can use it whatever we want. Just meet me over here, okay? Sure. I'll see you soon. Right after some quick karaoke. Try not to get too distracted. Karaoke. <laughs> but yeah, definitely fireworks, not gunshots, because uh, they, they were, there were some of the poppy 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 uh, flashbangy ones. That. Surprised to hear at this time of day in this location, localized, particularly in this zone. Uh, next street over, I believe. Yes. Yes. Today's Squirrel Appreciation Day, and I didn't even get to see my fat son. We, 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 we've, we've got a squirrel who's uh, nearby and uh, is good enough to... Uh, climb up on our legs when we, when we have peanuts available. I'm going to be friends with all the animals. Uh, where did that karaoke joint go? Are there at this street? Okay, seriously. Map. Stardust. Public Park 3. New Serena. Cafe Alps, Don Quixote, Smile Burger, Ronto, Pink Street, Club Shine, Save Point, Club Asia, Pink Alley, and Amach. Karaoke Tan. Okay. Down the street, and then up over two. Probably shortcut through here. Nakamichi Alley. Q. You know what I haven't seen in a while is Bob Utsunomiya. He's usually got things for me, but no things this time. Here we go. Coming around the other side. And into the Kada Okitan. Alright, folks. Whoa! How are we gonna cap this one off? What have we got for I know what karaoke is, game. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Let's see here. Sing karaoke. Hmm. Let's see. We got, what's what? What do we only got one? Well, we've got only one play count on a lot of these. So let's. You know what? Let's. Enjoy some summer memories with lively interjections. That cold stare.
fuck? Wow. That felt a lot better than the last time. <laughs> oh yeah, PM members, the Vocaloids have been around actually since forever. <laughs> ah, how did we do there? I didn't see. Oh well. Good enough. We got one more song. Let's sing the next one. I want to change. Nope. I want to change the song. Ooh, time for a Saturday Night Lover with lively introductions. Mmm. on this track unless you're in the video. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> 840 is good enough for my books. Folks, thank you so much for uh, joining us today for uh, Yakuza 3. I've been enjoying this. I hope you've been enjoying this uh, this ridiculous game as well as we uh, plow through these series of games. I, we had a couple of uh, side stories, but you know what? Let's blow past it. Let's hope that the rest of the game is uh, as pleasant as this last few bits have been. And we will see you next week for more Yakuza Like a Dragon. Same Yak time, same Yak channel. Uh, in the meantime, make sure to shave your whack. <laughs> shave your yak. Don't shave your whack. Or shave your whack if that's your deal. I don't know. You do you. Point is, I'm out. Have a great weekend. We will see you next week. Goodbye.